Hey, what is up guys and gals? I wanna talk about a brand new segment I'm excited to be starting, which I'm gonna call Tattoo Tuesday. And I'm gonna answer all the questions you have about tattoos and talk about my own personal experiences. So we're gonna start off by traveling back in time to something I recorded in July. Stick around. I just want to take a few minutes to make a quick video about tattoos in Japan in 2020. This is my third time in Japan and I've been here about four months this time. For those of you that don't know, tattoos in Japan have traditionally been thought of as very closely linked to criminal activity. They're associated with the Yakuza, which is essentially the Japanese mafia. I've been in many countries. Japan is still one of the more conservative ones for opinions on tattoos. You'll hear that it's changed and there's no big deal. And I'm gonna tell you right now, stuff in Japan is more difficult with tattoos. Now that's not to say you shouldn't come. Japan's an amazing country, I love it, even though I'm covered in tattoos. But let me talk about a few things that might be a little more difficult and how you can get around that. Number one is people on the street. Don't be afraid that people are gonna think you're a criminal. Uh, I'm not saying anything like that. People come up to me all the time. Even older gentlemen and women come up and wanna to touch my skin. Especially in smaller parts of Japan, many of my friends and people I've met have told me they've never met someone with tattoos. Which sounds odd, but they've seen it. You know, they're used to Hollywood, whatever, but they've never seen one in person. So they always wanna come up and touch my skin. It's really cool, actually, and they're quite nice about it. I will say this, talking to my friends, being a foreigner is a big advantage if you have tattoos. Japanese people still tend to associate other Japanese people with tattoos as maybe being a criminal. That's not my opinion, that's just the consensus I've got talking to some of my Japanese friends. It's definitely an advantage to being a tourist. Number two is onsen. I've been to a lot of onsen, don't get me wrong, but you will see many onsen with signs out front that say no tattoos. And you'll get turned away from places if you have tattoos. It's something that can be difficult if you're coming here on a two week vacation you need to plan ahead. I'm the kind of guy that likes to wing things. So, you know, when I say that I'm, I'm being serious, like if you can call them, great. If you can't, email. A lot of these places are tourist places. They will understand your email in English or they'll use Google Translate and just ask them, are tattoos okay? I know a lot of people go by the policy of it's easier to be forgiven than get permission. Meaning you can just not say anything if your tattoos are covered and get in the onsen, you might be fine. But if you're the kind of person that might shy away from confrontation or you don't want the staff to come in and say, hey, you can't be here, you should ask beforehand. It's never a simple, yes, tattoos are fine. Like, well, not never, but I find it the case to be rarely that the staff is like, yeah, no problem, tattoos are great. They usually, mm, ah, ooh, let me check, and then you're okay. A lot of unsend will also just give you a bandage and they'll ask you cover it. Now, obviously, I can't do that. I've been to a lot of onsen in the Gunma prefecture, I've been to Okutama, which is about an hour outside of Tokyo. They have a lot of great hikes and some onsen. And just this year I was there and they let me into one of their onsen. They huffed and hawed a little bit, but they were fine with me having tattoos. I've also been to Arima Onsen, which is uh, about an hour outside of Kobe. I think is the oldest onsen town in Japan, if I'm not mistaken, and very cool little place to hike up to. Um, they have two big onsens. One doesn't allow tattoos, one does, but a quick Google search will let you know that. And it's changing. More and more places are allowing tattoos. The government and the people of Japan in the tourism industry are trying to make it more friendly for foreigners because tattoos are so popular. But that's for tourism. Which brings me to my third point, and this is a big one, is gyms in Japan. I have yet to find a gym that allows tattoos. I know there are some in Tokyo, like Gold's Gym, in some of the trendier areas that allow tattoos, I've heard. But I'm here in Osaka and all the gyms I've talked to have a no tattoo policy. I work out at Anytime Fitness. That's a big chain. Like it's a global chain and they got gyms all over the world. But here in Japan, the rule is no tattoos. But it's very much a don't ask, don't tell kind of policy. I actually have full workout gear that covers my arms and my legs so that you can't see any of my tattoos. Uh, if you have hand tattoos, face tattoos, neck tattoos, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. But there are outdoor calisthenic parks and there are other ways to work out in Japan, especially if you're just here on a two week vacation. Who knows over the next couple of years if that'll change, but they're more aimed at changing tourist spots 
for allowing tattoos than they are your everyday life activities. But I think that will come too. Now that I'm actually living in Japan full time and studying Japanese, I can tell you that my school doesn't allow any big visible tattoos either. Something to consider if you're going to study here, much like most of the workplace in Japan if you're going to live here full time. Anyways, that's my talk about tattoos in Japan. Next week, I'm going to tell you my first experience getting a tattoo. In the meantime, any comments, concerns, throw down below, and don't forget to hit that like subscribe button. I'll see you next week.